the Dartmouth Conference, held in the summer of 1956, is widely regarded as the birth of artificial intelligence as a formal field of study. The conference was organized by John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon, who brought together a group of researchers to explore the possibilities of creating machines that could simulate human intelligence. A summary of what some of the attendees contributed to the conference is. 1. John McCarthy was the organizer of the conference, and he also gave a keynote address. He provided a vision for the future of AI, and he argued that it was possible to create machines that could think. 2. Marvin Minsky was a co-organizer of the conference, and he also gave a keynote address. He discussed the mathematical foundations of AI, and he argued that AI could be used to solve a wide range of problems. 3. Claude Shannon gave a presentation on the mathematical theory of communication, which is a foundation for AI. He also discussed the potential applications of AI, and he argued that AI could be used to improve communication and understanding. 4. Nathaniel Rochester gave a presentation on the problem of machine learning, which is a central problem in AI. He argued that machine learning was essential for the development of AI, and he proposed a number of new approaches to machine learning. 5. Alan Newell and his colleague Herbert A. Simon presented their work on the Logic Theorist, one of the first AI programs. The Logic Theorist was able to prove theorems in logic, and it demonstrated that AI was capable of solving complex problems. 6. Herbert A. Simon gave a presentation on the theory of bounded rationality, which is a theory of how humans make decisions. He argued that AI could be used to model human decision-making, and he proposed a number of new approaches to AI. 7. Oliver Selfridge gave a presentation on his work on machine vision. He developed the pandemonium model of machine vision, which is still used today. 8. Raymond Solomonoff gave a presentation on his work on universal induction, which is a foundation for machine learning. He argued that universal induction could be used to develop AI systems that could learn from data. The Dartmouth Conference was a seminal event because it marked the first time that AI was defined as a distinct field, with its own objectives and research agenda. During the conference, John McCarthy, who coined the term artificial intelligence, outlined the goals and scope of AI research, setting the stage for decades of exploration and advancements in the field. The conference attendees, including mathematicians, computer scientists, and psychologists, discussed a wide range of topics related to AI, such as problem solving, learning, natural language processing, and perception. They aimed to develop computational models and algorithms that could replicate or simulate human cognitive abilities. One of the key objectives of the Dartmouth Conference was to build intelligent machines capable of exhibiting human-like intelligence. The researchers envisioned creating programs that could understand natural language, solve complex problems, learn from experience, and reason logically. Although the conference was ambitious in its goals, the attendees recognized the challenges and limitations of AI research at the time. They acknowledged that creating a fully intelligent machine would require significant advancements in computing power, algorithms, and knowledge representation. Despite the ambitious goals and the challenges ahead, the Dartmouth Conference had a profound impact on the development of AI for several reasons. 1. Definition and Scope of AI The conference led to the formal definition of AI as a field focused on creating machines that can exhibit human-like intelligence. It established AI as a distinct research discipline and set the agenda for future research and development in the field. 2. Collaboration and community building. 
The conference brought together researchers from different disciplines and fostered collaboration and exchange of ideas. It established a sense of community among AI researchers, which was vital for sharing knowledge, discussing challenges, and advancing the field collectively. 3. Research Direction and Subfields The discussions at the Dartmouth Conference helped shape the research direction of AI. It led to the emergence of subfields within AI, such as machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, and expert systems, which became the focus of subsequent research and development efforts. 4. Public Awareness and Funding The Dartmouth Conference raised public awareness about AI and its potential impact on society. It captured the attention of the media and government agencies, leading to increased funding and support for AI research. This attention helped create a conducive environment for the growth of the field. 5. Inspiration and Inspiration The Dartmouth Conference inspired generations of researchers, students, and entrepreneurs to pursue AI research and development. The ideas and discussions at the conference served as a catalyst for groundbreaking advancements in AI in the subsequent years and continue to inspire and guide AI research today. It is important to note that while the Dartmouth Conference played a pivotal role in the development of AI, it also had its limitations. The researchers at the conference had ambitious goals but underestimated the complexity and challenges involved in achieving human-like intelligence. Progress in AI has been gradual and incremental, with significant breakthroughs and advancements occurring over time. In conclusion, the Dartmouth Conference was a landmark event that marked the birth of AI as a field of study. It defined the objectives and scope of AI research, brought together a community of researchers, and set the agenda for future advancements. The conference sparked enthusiasm and laid the groundwork for subsequent research and development efforts in AI, shaping the field's trajectory and influencing its growth and impact on society.